guys, Victoria here. Nice to have you on my channel. You probably are wondering what the hell am I doing on the floor of my kitchen sitting? Well, we are going to defrost my freezer today and go through what I have in the there and probably I don't have anything to throw out from there but I would like to see exactly what I have, kind of do an inventory. I at the moment I am at the moment quite low on the stuff which is in my freezer but I'm planning to stock it up after it has been defrosted. Uh, currently it has a lot of ice all over uh, so it's not very efficient and uh, it's wasting the energy I believe so I try to defrost it every at least once every half half year so the last time I defrosted it was in probably October and the, today we are already in March so almost half year has passed uh, and it's already time again and I didn't want to start uh, filling up the freezer until I do this so I rather do this now and then I can stockpile some freezer items uh, to keep. Uh, I have some freezer bags here that will keep the stuff uh, which is in the freezer cool until I'm working on the freezer uh, and then I'm gonna yeah, clean and defrost and put everything back once it's done. Uh, it's gonna take a couple of hours probably, <laughs> so wish me luck. I hope there will be still out light outside when I'm done. It's already in the afternoon. Um, and I'm gonna start by turning off the freezer, which I do here. There is like this ventilator thing that I can just take off. And the fridge and the freezer I plugged in here, so I'm gonna unplug. Well, it's quite dirty, I must say. <laughs> it's hard to keep this clean. I'm just gonna unplug this one and check if this one was the fridge or the freezer. This was the fridge, so I must plug that one back in. And plug, unplug the other one. There you go. Perfect, so this was the freezer. The freezer is officially off. I'm gonna just put this back in while I'm working on the freezer. Now I'm just gonna take everything out and then probably at the end I will show you what I have. So it does seem that I didn't have that much stuff in there because yeah, it just filled up this one, not even completely full. Uh, and it's empty now. So this is how it looks like. This is the ice that I mean, that I want to get rid of. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is not very good that I have that. And also in here, I have ice on the bottom. It's also a bit dirty. And here as well. And there is one more. I'm gonna clean these out. There's some spillage there as well. So here you go. So what I like to do to make the process faster is basically I put some hot water in here like this and this way I can also capture some of the ice in, in, in this uh, thing, <laughs> in this IKEA bowl. gonna do in the meantime is I'm gonna start a veggie broth from these veggie scraps that I collected. I'm gonna make it here on the stove top. Basically normally I would put some onion first but um, I'm kind of low on onion and I'm not planning to go to the store uh, for another couple of days so I need the <laughs> onion that I have so I'm just gonna put in here the 
scraps that I have, which is mostly, yeah, <laughs> mostly broccoli and stems, which is maybe not ideal. I'm gonna maybe put some more carrots in from my fridge. I'll check what else do I have in the fridge, but I think I only have carrots that could be used in the broth. I'm also low on garlic, so <laughs> that's not gonna help. So I'm gonna start that with some water and I'm just gonna boil it for a bit for one, two hours, maybe two. Put some salt, some pepper maybe. here should be a bowl or something to pick up the water however there is nothing to pull out from here i think it's like broken or it has been misplaced or something but ever since i moved here this piece that i could pull out here to take the water somewhere is not there so i kind of have to work around it Just gonna start boiling the veggies. So I'm just trying to protect the wooden cupboard from completely getting wet here by picking up the water in this and continuously wiping it off. It's actually going pretty fast this time around, somehow. See, like the water here is trying to go through this hole and come out here, but here I don't have a way to, to yeah, I, I would need something longer to pull out here and then I could put something here, but now it's just a built-in freezer, so if it was, I don't know, not built-in, maybe it would work, I don't, probably not actually, because then it would just be on the floor, that's also not ideal. It's very nice and clean at this point. No icing anywhere. What I, however, still need to do is to wait for it to dry a little bit because as you can see, there is water here that I definitely don't want to freeze <laughs> onto here and onto the pipes. So I'm just gonna wait for that a little bit to, to dry, but it's clean, everything is clean. These are drying, drying, drying. <laughs> and 
the soup is boiling. All right, it's kind of getting dark now, so I'm just gonna start putting stuff back in to the drawers and then back there. So veggies go in the top drawer, which is, I believe this one. <laughs> I hope it is this one. And then you can see what I have. So I have green beans. I have this mix, but I only have that much in it. <laughs> and I realized that it comes with some like butter thing. It should be melted on top. So that's not the kind of vegetables that I want actually. I want just veggies without that kind of stuff. I have peas. I have more green beans, which I bought not frozen, these were both frozen, these were not fro both frozen, but I froze them because I didn't use them up. I have some paprikas frozen, cut up. It's from one time when I um, picked up some good, too good to go from uh, Interspar and they had a lot of paprika in it and I just couldn't eat all that paprika. So frozen paprika. Then this is celery. This is parsley. Then these are bananas. I'm gonna put that in the bottom drawer, which is kind of the snack drawer. <laughs> then I have, this is more celery. And I was looking at this. I'm not sure if this is still... This looks a bit sad. I guess in soups it's still okay. Then I have some blueberries, not much. I have this maracuya frozen or passion fruit, sorry. Um, which I got to make cocktails with, so it's time to make cocktails. <laughs> I have bread and I have some burgers and then I have these um, sauces, which is for a recipe, shrimp fettuccine recipe. This is like a paprika butter sauce and this as well. So, <laughs> what should be the policy? If I have veggies on the top and fruits and snacks on the bottom, in the middle I have... Oh, this one should also ha uh, should have my broth box where I keep the veggie scraps for the broth. And this one should have the space for the compost bag. Let's see, maybe I can put these in the middle one. Like in the middle one, then I can have kind of food, which is not veggie or fruit or, fruit or snacks. I can put these walnuts also in the bottom drawer. I have these two plant burgers, which were, I believe they were on sale in Eurospar, that's why I got them. And they came like, I had to get two for getting the sale price. And I have, this is like uh, olive oil and basil frozen. So basically in an ice tray, ice cube tray, I put some basil, fresh basil, and I pour some olive oil over it. And then I froze it and I put it in this bag. So I should use that for cooking, but I have been always forgetting to use it. And that's it. So I have plenty of space now for other stuff. And I also need to plug, oh, I need to plug the stuff back in. Shouldn't forget that. <laughs> it's done, veggies. Other meal items, fruits and snacks. 
for joining me for today's video. I hope you found it interesting. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions about how I should do this more efficiently, please let me know. Or maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I have been asking myself this question whether I might be doing something wrong when I'm defrosting my freezer because it shouldn't be this complicated, should it? Or maybe I just have an old freezer. Well, I'm renting this place, so I'm not gonna buy a different freezer for it. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for taking along. Um, I hope I will see you at my next video. Until then, support my channel with a like and see you soon. Bye-bye.